Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I color graded this cinematic Instagram reel that I have uploaded about a month ago. So yeah, without wasting any further time, let's get right into this. All right, guys, here we are in our DaVinci Resolve 17, and I have everything in place already edited and cut. I think that should not be a problem for you because editing and cutting is just uh, it's just simple. And we are gonna be focusing more on the color grading. So this is how the original clip looks like I'm gonna make it larger and as you can see everything is just plain and boring so we need to make it look more interesting and more dramatic so we'll color grade and make it look like that so we will color grade the first clip and then I'll show you how to apply that color grading to rest of the clips so that we don't have to work a lot in color grading each of the clips so we'll select our first clip and then go to the color page and now we can start our color grading this is our first note and this is where we are going to be doing some basic settings so let's name this name this note by going to note label and naming this primary okay so we're gonna do some primary stuff like let's bring the brightness a little bit down okay so this lift right here controls the shadows so if we bring this a little bit towards the left, you can see our image is getting darker. And we don't want too much dark, we just want, you know, just enough. So minus 0 0.04, uh, I think is the way to go. And also bring the gain a little bit down. Gain is the highlights, so bring this down a little bit and i don't want to bring it a lot down just a little bit and 0.99 should be good so this is before and after so as you can see we have got a little bit more contrast and more details have come back in the video now also uh, as you can see we are losing a little bit details in the dark area so we'll bring these shadows a little bit up and i think this much is enough 11 also bring the highlights a little bit down okay, so you can see the difference like we are this is before and this is after we are getting a bit more uh, contrast and it looks better now and yeah i think uh, that's all i'm going to do in this note uh, this much is enough and we got the basic baseline for our look so now we can move ahead and add another note so click alt s and just name this note uh, color because we're gonna be doing stuff with the colors okay so we're gonna be changing all the colors and the way it looks so yeah basically everything in this color so first let's come to this lift again and i want you know the overall image to be a little bit bluish because when it rains it is kind of blue maybe uh, i don't know what <laughs> that is what i feel so i'll bring this lift a little bit towards blue this a uh, dot in the middle a little bit towards blue and if you see the image it starts looking kind of blue okay uh, but not that much just a little bit and i think that should be enough as you can see this is before and after so we are having like in the shadows we are having like bluish not bluish actually it's kind of a little bit greenish and yeah just move around and see what works for you so in the gain gain will control the highlights so in gain i will bring this towards the blue and it doesn't look good we'll just bring it towards the green a little bit so i want that kind of a cyan kind of color and it will take some time but just move around and just see what works for you and and for me i think this uh look that i got here by moving this around is perfect now if you see before and after now we have got that kind of bluish greenish kind of color in the highlights and in the shadows because we changed the colors here right in the lift and again so this is before and this is after okay now let's come to this uh this is called curves maybe yes so this curves but we won't do anything with the curves we'll go to the second dot and we will be greeted with hue versus hue and this hue versus hue is the best thing uh you can do everything you can change everything all the colors just just look at this it's a party and yeah uh first of all 
I want the blue to like you know have some hue so I'll just click on this blue and we'll have these dots so if you move this up uh, you know the blue will change so yeah right about here let's keep this here now let's change the greens and the yellow so I'm gonna be selecting both of them and click on the green pull this up a little bit okay so I don't want it, the greens to completely turn orange so I will just keep this down a little bit just a little bit of hue and also let's bring this orange up a little bit sorry yellow and bring this green down a little bit I think that looks pretty good like this is before and after and uh, if you see here this looks really red and I don't like this red color right here so just select the red and bring this down a little bit so it will turn more into like yellow maybe yeah so you can see the difference I think I'm happy with this so let's go to the next dot and this is hue versus saturation and yeah this is kind of too blue too yellow too green we'll just bring the saturation a little bit down select the blue again bring this blue down a little bit also select the green select the yellow so we'll get all these dots in all the colors i will create another dot here and try to bring this blue down a little bit uh we'll bring down the greens because i think it's too green so what we are working with here is the saturation just bringing down the colors a little bit and trying to take out the life and make things look sad now let's bring this yellow too a little bit and bring this red too and now let's move on to the next dot right here which is hue versus luminance and just select the blue and bring this down again so luminance is like the you know like kind of brightness so we are playing with the brightness right now and just select the green and yellow and bring the luminance down when i bring it up the green is you know if you i want to zoom it and see if i bring this green down it becomes dark I bring this up second this up it becomes brighter so i want it a little bit dark so let's bring this down somewhere here and bring this yellow down too because green and yellow are kind of related to each other yeah i think that's it for luminance that's it and if you see before after we have a massive difference we are starting to get there so just add another node here alt s and name this node curves because we are going to be playing with the curves now so this is the curves right so this dot was the curves and what we'll do here is just bring this little guy a little bit up and bring this down a little bit and so try to bring this back up and this a little bit more Okay, just play with the curve and see what works and for me this is what working for me anymore so this is without the curve you see everything is just so faded kind of and when we apply the curves we get that you know like more contrast and the image is more punchy now and we are gonna be moving on now so what i'm gonna do is add another note and add a LUT. yes we're gonna be using LUT. so we have lots of LUT here as you can see this is the LUTs folder and go to the film looks and i will apply this this one this fourth one okay, you can apply any one which one you like but for me i think this fourth one is my favorite i'll just bring this to the node and drop it here and now our image is completely destroyed but we can fix it just come here in this tab key and bring this key output down just click and hold and drag it towards the left you can see we are uh, bringing down the intensity of the LUT so I think somewhere around 151 yeah 151 is pretty good so if you see before it's all faded and kind of less contrasty and if you apply it uh, we get that you know contrast and it looks more interesting now okay so that is done and now let's add another note and this will be our vignette so to do that just come to this window tab select this circle uh, make it like you want and i will put that put the drop in the middle so just somewhere around something like that 
now the thing is we are only working inside the circle now so any any changes that i make will be affected only inside this circle so but we want to like you know uh, work outside the circle we want to make the outside of the circle dark and that is how we'll get that vignette look uh, so to do that we'll invert the mask so come to this window and click on this dot right here next to the circle window that we have created so it's dot and that will invert the mask and now we'll go to the curves and select somewhere in the middle click on it and bring it down and as you can see everything around this drop is getting dark and yeah that's it and look at this this is before and after like we have come a long way and if you want to stop here you can stop and go to bed and that's it for the color grading but we will add a little bit more so we'll add another note and we'll call this final okay, so we'll do our final final changes and i feel that everything is really colorful here so what i will do is bring this color boost a little bit down okay, so that we lose a little bit color overall in the overall image we'll just type it minus 3.80 and yeah basically we are done guys um that is it this, this is before this is after and look at the difference like look at this plain image everything is washed away kind of and look at this moody dark you get that emotion like the pain and the sadness that this image carries within it uh because of the colors and yeah that is how i color graded this instagram reel now we can apply this all of this color grade to the rest of our clips and that is uh, very easy we just have to right click and grab a still so i'll just grab a still and we'll come to this media pool sorry not media pool gallery and we'll find this stuff okay so this is like the all of this is saved in here now if we want to apply this to our another clip we have to bring that clip up so to bring that up we'll just click on clips and all our clips is here and we'll just i'll show you by applying it to this last clip so to apply it here we'll hover our mouse over this and you can see we can even see a preview of how it will look like so just right click click on append node graph and boom we have uh, a very nice look without even doing anything we just collected that clip but this clip looks really good look at this this is before and this is after you can go into the settings and tweak a bit of uh, you know like i want to bring this this is too kind of greenish blue so let's uh, go to color go to the curves go to the hue a saturation and bring this a little bit down bring the blue a little bit down you can see we have lost a little bit of color and yeah you can do that for the rest of the clips you can just bring the clip up and not graph and then do some changes in it if you want to and yeah with that we are done with the tutorial look at this That's it guys that's how i color graded this cinematic instagram reel and if you want to watch some more cinematic reels like this you can follow me on instagram it's at the red jump film 07 and for more cinematic mobile videography content you can subscribe to this channel and also like this video give a thumbs up and motivate me to make more videos and till then i will see you guys in the next one bye